Number 17, classify each of the following as an element, a compound, or a mixture. And we kind of did the same question in number 16. So if you need a in-depth version of what elements, compounds, and mixtures are, go see that uh, question. Over here, I'm just going to simplify it. Just know that elements are the smallest, then comes compounds, then comes mixtures. And it's a piggyback effect. So an element is a single square or box on the periodic table. So if I looked at iron, which is Fe, a single Fe would be an element, a single C would be an element. But multiple elements will make up compounds. So you need to take two or more blocks and put them together. So for example, H2O. We took hydrogen and we took oxygen, put them together, and you get water. You could do that with so many different elements. Another one maybe would be lithium chloride, LiCl. You took lithium and you took chlorine, put them together, and now you have a compound. And then if you put two or more compounds together, you will get a mixture. So this is just multiple compounds. So the example that I used in last question was salt water. Um, another one would be, I don't know, milk and coffee. Or, I don't know, uh, so any soft drink would be mixtures because you have so many different compounds in that soft drink. Water, sugar, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So now I see that we got A through H. Let's write that down. And then we will get started. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So for these types of questions, always work from the simplest form, which is an element, all the way down to a mixture, and kind of go, you know, cross off the stuff that you know that it's not. Always work from elements to compounds to mixtures. So for letter A, iron. First, I'm going to check if it's an element. If it's not an element, maybe it's a compound or maybe it's a mixture, etc. So iron, is it a single box on the periodic table? Well, I just circled it before. It's this one. Iron is just Fe. Since it's a single box, it has to be an element. So that gets rid of this one. Oxygen. Is oxygen a single box on the periodic table? And this one, geez, I'm hitting these all on the nose here. Oxygen is this one over here. Just a single O, so this also is a element. So that's that one. Mercury oxide. Hmm. This one, we have two different elements coming together. We have mercury, which is HG. HG is all the way down over here, and oxygen, which is the O again. So since you have a mixture of HG and oxygen, they're coming together, two separate elements coming together to form a compound. So this one has to be a compound. Pancake syrup. Hmm. Is the word pancake syrup on this periodic table? Absolutely not. So it's definitely not an element. Do I know of the two specific or two or more specific elements that came together to form pancake syrup? Mm, seems even more complicated than that. But what do you think comes together to make pancake syrup? Well, probably a definite two things. Probably water, because it's a liquid. And how does it get its sweetness? Sugar. Plus a whole bunch of other stuff. So water, we know, is a compound, H2O. And sugar, we know, is a compound as well, C6H12O6. A combination of two different compounds, at least two different compounds, coming together... This has to be a mixture. So pancake syrup is 
a mixture. So these are all good. All right, 50% there. Carbon dioxide. Some of you might know carbon dioxide is CO2, but we have two elements here, carbon and then oxide, oxygen. Carbon is a single box, which is over here. Oxygen is another single box. You have two elements coming together, so this one has to be a compound. Letter F. A substance composed of molecules, each of which, which contains one hydrogen atom and one chlorine atom. Hmm. So it looks like we're taking the box hydrogen and combining it with a box Cl. Hydrogen is an atom. It's an element. And so is chlorine. Two different elements are coming together. What are they going to form? They're going to form a compound. So this is a compound. One hydrogen atom is combining with one chlorine atom. The actual compound is HCl because there's one and one HCl. Two different elements. That is a compound. Baking soda. If you didn't know and you looked up baking soda, baking soda is just the the better way of saying the actual compound for what it is. Baking soda is actually sodium bicarbonate. And if we know what sodium bicarbonate is, then we'll be able to figure this out. Sodium bicarbonate is just NaHCO3. So let's analyze it. We have sodium Na. Hydrogen, H, carbon, C, oxygen, O. They're all coming together to form one molecule of something. This has to be a compound. Now, baking powder, on the other hand, is a combination of baking soda plus other compounds. They add buffers in there, they add acids, other compounds. So it's the idea of having baking soda plus just other different ingredients in there. So what's happening here? Well, we have one compound, NaHCO3, coming together with all these other different things. That's going to make a mixture because it's more than one, at least more than one compound coming together to form the substance. Guys, I hope this helped out. If it did, please subscribe, because we'll be having tons of more questions coming your way. In other news, I, got, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.